You've got to be righteous. You can't be a crook and a liar and a thief. You can't be unreliable. A business key, and this is also in this book here, in the, under the t- topic of uh, the chapter of, in, about business. You've got to return phone calls. You've got to be accessible. You've got to go out of your way to help people. You've got to service people. Can I tell you, if you're in the service industry of any kind, part of your business, a percentage of your time, needs to be servicing previous clients. Not taking somebody's money for a new job and then running after them and leaving what you left undone. You know, a lot of people do that. I've seen that in Kenya. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. All these guys, they call, them, they call themselves hustlers or whatever. They're hustling, hustling. And they're going and always looking for the new money. Yeah, give me the new thing. And they take it and they promise everyone, you know, the help. And they just lied, okay? And then you want them to come back and fix something that was not, not done. And they don't, they don't have time to come back and they just don't even bother to return the call or not accessible. Someone like that will never be blessed. Listen to me. God, I feel the anointing. God will mark someone like that and say, you're not a proper business person. You're a joker. You can't expect a blessing, all right? If your client calls you someone that gave you money before, you need to take care of them to the fullness of their satisfaction. You know, people can also talk and give referrals, or they can also close the door and say, no, that guy's not reliable. You know how many, just by getting referrals, how much more business someone can get? By pleasing one customer. So a percentage of your business needs to be in customer service to take care of your clients. Those that gave you money, those that paid you, those that engaged your services, you need to take care of them. In Jesus' name. If not, the Lord will not be pleased about it and he'll see. Even if you, you're not praying, you're not in church or whatever, it doesn't matter. God is watching everybody. And the laws of the universe have been put in place of seed time harvest, sowing, reaping, service reward, cause and effect. You know, the curse causeless doesn't come. You did something to get it.